Hi everybody. So here's my function graph. This is y equals f of x. And in this particular question, I'm being told to take the square root of this line here. And I'm going to sketch that on here. Well, first of all, when, when the line goes below the x-axis, it, it, when I'm applying the square root transformation, it just disappears. This doesn't exist here. My invariant points are going to be here on the x-axis because the square root of 0, the y-coordinate here is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0. It's also going to be over here at where y is equal to 1 because the square root of 1 is 1. Now, all the rest of these are going to get smaller here. In this little section right here where the y-coordinate is less than 1, all of my square roots here are going to be larger than this line. Okay, think of it again. The square root of a quarter is a half. Okay, the square root of a sixteenth is a quarter. Anytime you take the square root of a fraction, you get a larger number. So what happens here is my, my points are actually going to bubble up above this line. But once you get to numbers bigger than one, the square roots become smaller. So this thing's going to bubble up and then it's going to drop down. So it's going to curve up like a, a radical function. Uh, but it's always going to be lower than that line, and that's what that's going to look like.